Welcome to Man vs. 7800, where I attempt to beat every 7800 game possible. And boy, has this been a long time. Good thing I didn't delete the intro. Anyway, today we're going to be completing Water Ski for the Atari 7800. And I think this might just be as hard as Karatika. It might even be harder, because I only seriously tried to beat Karatika for a few weeks. This one I've been attempting to complete for many, many years. So... Let's do what we normally do. I'll talk a little bit about water ski, and then I'm, I'm going to give some more strategy as I'll, I'll show two complete runs in this game. I, I was so thrilled that I beat it the first time that I had to try it a second time to make sure it wasn't a fluke. Um, and I think it's probably good to have this information out there because I, I don't know how many people have ever, ever completed this game. A little bit about water ski, and, and there isn't much history on it, but I'll tell you what I can. Water Ski was developed by Frogo Games out of Sunnyvale, California in 1988. Frogo is probably best known for re-releasing some middling to decent Atari 2600 games during the 2600 Junior era, but they also developed and released two Atari 7800 games. Those would be this and Tank Command, which is probably the rarest and most expensive game on the system. Not a very good one though, at least in my opinion. Anyway, there are some credits for Water Ski, and they aren't hard to find. On the intro screen, you'll see it was designed by Donald Hayden, Richard DeMuzio, and the graphics were by David Macy. For all three of these individuals, this appears to be their only gaming credit. Despite all my research, I couldn't find anything else on them. They seem to have disappeared into the gaming night. There is very little on Frogo themselves as well. If anybody knows anything about Frogo or the developers... Please get in touch with me, I'd love to find out more about them. So Water Ski is a very difficult game, and that's because it's a, a memorization game that requires quick reflexes and the ability to control two moving objects at the same time. You have to move your boat left and right to avoid basically everything on the screen, and sometimes hitting up or down to speed up the boat or slow it down a little. But I don't recommend trying to speed up at all, unless you're a madman. You also control the water skier with the left and right triggers, and with the skier you can hit ramps to gain a bunch of points. You have to do all this while moving quickly and sometimes avoiding moving targets. The manual says you're skiing the Ferona River, which I believe is a fictional river. The manual also tells you that there's three levels, and you can really tell when you complete one and move on to the next. Level 1 is called the Obstacle Slalom Run, and it has the greatest number of stationary obstacles. Level 2 is appropriately called the Shark and Alligator Main Course, and not only do you have to avoid bayous, rocks, and logs, but as the name implies, you have to avoid zigzagging hybrid river sharks and huge alligators. Personally, outside of the very last obstacle, I think this is the hardest course. Finally, Level 3 is the High Speed Death Run, and the manual says that emphasis here is on speed. The manual doesn't say much about it besides crank it up and wind it out. Just want to point out two more things in the manual under the section appropriately named wipeouts. It tells that if you get fancy around the shoreline, you'll hit hidden rocks and sandbars. And this was more than likely intended to hide the sloppy hit detection and shoddy programming. But whatever, it's a smart idea in order to cover it up. Also in a section called final words, they say it's possible to hit every ramp in a single run, which I honestly don't see how it is possible. They also say it's possible to score 1 million points, which I, I could see. And they also say it's possible to live to a ripe old age without seeing the third part of the game. But okay guys, so I want to get into the next part because I want to tell you a strategy on how to beat the game so that you too can conquer water ski. Alright, so if you want to beat this game yourself, uh, let's talk strategy. The first area here is the area where you can hit the most ramps safely. You go pretty slow in this area, but don't, you know, if you never played, don't be fooled. This is not an easy part of the game. None of this game is easy. So these first four ramps or so I, I like to hit, or four of these ramps anyway, you'll also want to stay tight to the right, because in general, the safest area through is in between the tree stump and the landline there, or I guess the landmass, whatever you want to call it. Um... But there is this part that tripped me up for a while where you have to go through that small opening of rocks on the left. So after you hug that first tree and shoreline, then be ready to go through the middle of that rock formation. After that, you pretty much have it. That's the hardest part of the first section. Again, in my opinion, 
hit as many of the ramps that you feel safe in hitting. Again, they're pretty generous with extra skiers, so you want to hit the ramps just to get some extra guys so that you can play through the game and not have to continue and start over. You hug, again, in between all the trees. You want to go between this tree and the shoreline. You want to hug this rock formation pretty tightly. And then as soon as you pass this formation, you're past area one. At the start of area two, you have two sharks that immediately sink you. So go far right and move your skier right. Here, again, this there's multiple paths you can go through here. I like to follow this path that I'm taking. You want to jump over that log. If you don't time the jump right, your guy will land on the log, so be aware of that. This is a tough area here, too. You have to, as I dump my skier, and that area, um, and when we get back to it, you'll have to hug it with your boat so that you can get past all the obstacles, and then right after you make it past the buoy, you'll want to swing your skier around so that he also misses the obstacles. But if you do it too soon, then he's going to hit the buoy. So it's, it's kind of a difficult area to master. So you see we hug it, and as soon as I clear the buoy, I move the skier far right. After that, just continue to follow the path I'm following here. You can make it through on alternate paths. I have done it before, but this is the path I feel safest through. This is another tough area. You just got to make some sharp cuts. Same thing here, try to avoid the shark's movements. It'll take you a while to get the sharks down, so just try to steer as clear as you can. And then once you get past these two alligators, you've cleared the second area. Again, far right at the end of the, the levels here. So for this speed course, this is the course I know the least about, because being the last one, I've seen it the least. But in general, I find it a tad bit easier than the last course. I think my first time playing it, I nearly beat it. Again, I think so, I don't recall, but it took me a long time to even get this far. So here you just want to avoid the land masses, and kind of use your speed to your advantage. When you see that shipwreck, you got to get ready for this, because this is the hardest part in the entire game. So as you clear that buoy, you have to immediately pull a sharp right. If you don't, you will never make it through this area, and it's, it's extremely hard to not only memorize but even when you see it coming it's hard to do so just be aware that you know this this is going to be difficult for you okay so that this is i took it right to the end on this run but here we go so we're going to just kind of snake left and right this kind of feels more natural than the other areas. It's like, it works the way you kind of want to play it. Um, you don't have to focus on skier too much except for the very end. So this is a nice area too for, for that reasoning. You know, the skier kind of just follows your boat so you can clear most of the obstacles. But right here, after we get past this buoy, we immediately turn and hug this log and we get past the thing. Now... Hit as many of these ramps as you can because this is all bonus points here and you completed water ski. So there you go guys. Uh, see if you can beat it too and let me know if you beat my score.